everybody. <laughs> Time. Same Happy time. Saturday. Welcome back to the Welsh Christopher Robin. Very wet Welsh morning. It is. We have been out for a walk. Hope you're all well and you've had a good week. Um, yeah, we've been out. We've done 6k already this morning, so that was wet. Mm -hmm. Even though it said it wasn't going to rain at that time. Yeah, no, just a little bit on the end. It wasn't crazy, was it? No, it was right. So yeah, so um, we just had breakfast. Both had egg on toast. Intensely exciting. Um, although I have tried a new bread, which I'll show you later. It's a 50-50 Because, because that's what you're really waiting for. That's coming right at the end of the vlog, so you've got to watch it all just to see the new bread. The excitement. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, uh, yes, yeah, so we've just had breakfast. I'm going to pop over the shop and get some treats, I think, because this afternoon we're going movie marathon, aren't we? That's what you want to do, yeah. That's what we want to do, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I've them. just realised Chris has got egg on his chin. Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody would have noticed. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Egg on my face, eh? So, we're going to do Hunger Games, aren't we? Yeah, you haven't seen them, have you, so? No, I've only ever seen bits and bobs of them, so the weather's supposed to be rubbish. It's just the two of us. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to chill out. Chris has had mm. quite a busy few days off, sorting out the shower. Still not finished, but... Still not finished. Things, we'll things take you. time. He's, you know, he's cracking on, doing it himself. Um, so, tiles have come. Our first floor sample has come. We don't like it. Not going for wood. That's gone. Ugh. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, who knows? We haven't really got any plans. The mm. one thing we are going to update on is a Disney update. Because yes. we have, yet again, changed, not changed. What's the word I'm looking for? We've just... No, no, um, I think we've, we've, we're sticking on the same lines. We're but just powering on with our plans. We've just... Um, for May. Yeah, we've just had more stuff... Yeah. come open this week so we've done that and uh, we'll update you tomorrow on where we go we might just chat through we might do it today who knows oh we might do yeah we might just yeah we might just chat through how we're planning so sometime later it's about two o'clock i think just gone two-ish uh we've watched probably the first hour and a half of the hunger games so that's good quite enjoying it um I, my hair was wet because i did have a bath when we came back from the walk and put a um I'm sure what's happening they've got a few stray strands i can see um put a hair mask on and stuff so that was nice but i thought because we're just going to go and have some lunch now have some soup i know crazy um i'd show you the pictures because we put the pictures up this week we didn't chris did let me turn it around to show you bear with please caller so here we go there they are on the wall i really like them i think it goes really well i mean it is just the sofa now really the sofas Clearly, this is our little cut under the blanket. Um, but yeah, I think they go really nicely. As I say, they were, were from Nex. I don't think they were the cheapest. But they have kind of got like, if this focuses, like a sparkle in it as well, which kind of goes with the rest of the house. So yeah, they're kind of like that. And now we've got the mirror. They're not identical, so they are different, which again, I quite like. Yeah, like that. So from this angle, that's what it looks like. And then they kind of match the one we've got here as well, which is also from Next, which again, it's got a little bit of sparkle in it. I do like a bit of sparkle. I'm a bit like a magpie. Oh, that was Liam's toy. So um, yeah, so that's nice. So I do feel like the living room's sort of come together quite nicely now. So it's just, it's just as and when we can uh, get out and look at sofas and, you know, decide what's happening really. So yeah, so downstairs um, to, have some soup. I'll try not to fall down the stairs. And I believe Chris has got a, a minestrone for lunch. And I have, let me have a look, I've got some sort of butternut squash. Let's put light on, put a big light on. I have got this little treat, carrot ginger and butternut squash super soup from, I think this was Lidl's. But it's quite good. It's only got 111 calories. Well, no, 222. 111 is half of it, but I will have all of it. Chris doesn't want to interrupt this broadcast for a public announcement. It's snack time! <laughs> Chris is looking at me like I've lost my mind. <laughs> She's lost her mind. I have lost my mind. So, we are having... Um, I saw these in the shop when I went earlier. Pound a bag. Pound oh, That's expensive. So... Mr. David and Mr. Ian had these last week. So we've got, gone for a bit of a kernel, Kentucky Fried Chicken Max Walkers and Double Crunch KFC Zingers. I've just had a Zinger, you've just had a KFC, haven't you? Mm -hmm. How did you find it? 
Well, I, I don't. I have never had many KFCs, so mm. they don't taste as much. They've got some sort of flavouring on mm. them. Not a lot. Quite enjoyed them. But basically, the KFC ones are like a sort of um, roast chicken, and the zingers have got a little bit of kick to them, but they don't taste. Take, Blah, 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 blah. They don't taste like a nine piece bucket, I can assure you. However, movie marathon is continuing. We're on the second one, aren't we? Yeah. Which is the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Uh, we're about an hour into it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Quite enjoying it. So, um, yeah, bye. Evening. We are have resumed the position on the sofa. We've had tea, um, we had crispy chicken. It was all obviously hello fresh, crispy chicken, roasted carrots, like a garlicky mash, and then a red sort of wine sauce. It's very nice. I had a low calorie jelly. Chris didn't. He had some chocolate ice cream, which is very nice. Picked it up from Asta, was on offer. Um, so yeah, so we've done um the first and second um Hunger Games. So we're now on to the third, which is called What's the third one called? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're going to look at. But I thought I'd just quickly show you um, the Valentine's cards that we bought for each other because I think, I think it's quite funny. Um, one was more romantic than the other, but the other one was more accurate, I think, in some way. So I'll show you. So this was my card to Chris. So obviously we are the Welsh Christopher Robin and the card, if it focuses is um, it's a Christopher Robin card. It says, Happy Valentine's. And then the quote, the quote says, if you live to be 100, I hope I live to be 100 minus one day. So I never have to live without you. And Winnie the Pooh said that. So I thought that was really cute. So that's why I sent to Chris. Chris sent me, excuse my horrible feet. Um, There's no one I'd rather watch murder documentaries with. Happy Valentine's Day, which is, 100% accurate. I do love a good murder documentary, as we know. I have watched uh, The Night Stalker on Netflix. That was good. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I enjoy it. Enjoying, I don't think is the right word. Um, I have started watching The Cecil or Cecil Hotel on Netflix as well. That's popped up a few times. Um, and yeah, I started watching with a new BBC, oh, hello, where have you gone? A new BBC, um, all about forensics. So that's quite interesting as well. Um, so yeah, so they were our Valentine's cards. So I thought they were quite apt for um, for Chris and I. We're back on, or Chris is back on. He is there, if I spin it round. Hello. He's back on the laptop. What are you looking at? Uh, looking at um, timeshare properties. Yeah, we're back on the... Just to get our list... Um, updated. Yeah, ready for May, mm -hmm. um, because we're not sure that the one we want is gonna it's gonna come out and and on time and stuff as well. So we're having a bit of a bit of a rethink, maybe, aren't we? It's still our number one though, isn't it? Wyndham at Bonnet Creek. Yes. Um, but we're just oh, good lord. Um, my hair is still really wet from the bath because I haven't dried it. So um, tomorrow it'll probably be really greasy. But I'll leave you on that thought and. Um, We'll probably end the vlog here for today, so we will catch up with you tomorrow. Sleep tight, everybody. Bye. Good morning. It's uh, it's Monday. <laughs> no Sunday. This has now turned into a long weekly vlog because yesterday, um, they just didn't. Nothing happened that was exciting. So, you know, all sort of vlog worthy. So we, Chris and I, didn't vlog about that so it's Monday so what I thought I would do because Monday's way day for me um, on a Sunday morning Monday morning god um, so I thought because I officially hit four stone two pounds last yay um, so what I thought I would do is um, a very quick what I eat in a day on a calorie deficit so um, it is it's about quarter to 10, because I try not to have my breakfast until 10. Otherwise, being at home, the day is long, and I am a snacker. So um, I always get up, I always have a coffee in my Nespresso, so I always start the day with quite a strong coffee, usually like half seven-ish, um, depending on how early Liam wakes me up. Um, and then I wait until 10 to have my breakfast. So this morning, I am going to have my... Um, eggs on toast with avocado so I will um make that and then come back to you now I did say didn't I Saturday morning the bread that I enjoyed now 
is, it's Kingsmill 50-50, no bits but multi-seeded, this one. So as a slice, it looks like this. <laughs> it's very exciting, isn't it? So here it is, two, um, two eggs boiled, um, half a medium avocado and then two bits of toast. Um, and that, from a calorie counting perspective, bear with me one second, all that with the coffee I had first thing and another coffee, because I always have two coffees in the morning, is 490 calories. Um, I also then have these really big, um, I think they're Sistema bottles, I think they're a litre. Um, I've got two of them, so I just rotate them round basically, so I keep one in the fridge all the time and then take the other one out and drink it. So I always have a full one of these every meal time. And then I try to have them in between as well. I do occasionally have a Diet Coke. Um, I don't calorie count the squash or the Diet Coke because for me, I would still drink it whether I was having a Flamin' Domino's or whether I was having, you know, a salad and things. So I don't calorie count my squash and it's, you know, a sugar-free, very low anyway. Um, and the same with the Diet Coke, it's like one calorie, I think, per can. So I don't, I don't count those. So um, yeah, I'm going to have this. And uh, yeah, see you for lunch in a little bit. Look at that. It's a sunny day. It is so nice outside. There's even blue in the sky, which is slightly digressing. Oh, got dark from uh, my what I eat in a day. But God, doesn't it make a difference to your whole sort of um, mood? And yeah, I just think everybody feels in so much. God, that's terrible grammar, isn't it? Everybody feels so much better when it's a sunny day and there's some sunshine, you get a bit of sun on your face. Love it. Been out for a walk with the kids in between doing their schoolwork and it is now quarter to two. Kids have had their lunch, so I'm gonna have mine. So I am having, da -da -da -da, here it is. It is um, the other half of my last night's tea, which was, cottage pie and then I've got some salad on the side so for um I made cottage pie for everybody um and I kind of did like a slimming worldy type back in the day the slimming world type cottage pie so I did five percent fat mince for everybody else and for me I use turkey mince just because it's so much less fat sort of saturated fats and stuff like that so um yeah so in there is turkey mince passata whoosh I can't say it whoosh dish, whoosh dish, whoosh whoosh um Peas, carrots, red onion, potatoes, a little sprinkle of cheese, and then obviously the turkey rice. And then, um, yeah, on the side, I've got a little salad as well that's got some um, rockets, cucumber, tomatoes, sweet corn, and then just a drizzle of balsamic over the top. So lunch, just the pie is 453 calories. So let me just add in what I've put for my side salad um, because we really need to record everything otherwise it just doesn't give an accurate um, sort of thing of what it is I suppose you know and that's where you're ultimately going to go wrong if you are um, calorie counting is if you're not doing it and not calorie counting properly. So lunch with my side salad is 514 calories. So 490 this morning, just over 500 for lunch. Um, and then tea tonight is um, Hello Fresh, surprise, surprise. And that is 566 calories. And it is quick chamula chicken with couscous and veggies. So obviously I'll show you that. Um, later on when Chris comes home. So at the minute, um, I did have a Diet Coke this morning. A third one of the day, about to have that with my lunch. Um, so yeah, so with that, I'm on about 1,570 calories for the day. My allowance is 1,639. So, God, terrible at maths, but I think that's about 60 calories that I've got left because my lunch is a lot more than what it normally would be. I normally wouldn't do 514 calories for lunch. Yesterday I had, what did I have for lunch yesterday? Yesterday I had soup, that whole pot of soup, that was 270 calories. Saturday I had soup, that was 222. I'm just trying to find a day where I do salad. Mm, maybe. Yeah, my salads are usually about 400. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be pretty much there, you know, bang on today in terms of 
um, my calories without having a snack or anything else. I am going to do some weights later, um, which is usually around about 200 calories I'll burn, um, but I don't eat those calories because if you eat your exercising calories, it's not going to work because your calorie intake just goes up basically. But what I will say is that I also track my fat intake. Um, so for the day, I'm allowed 71.5 grams of fat, or that's what the app has worked out for me. So with all the food I've got there, I've only used, for the whole day, including dinner, I've only used 46.7, which still leaves me 36.1 grams. My exercise apparently is gonna take off 11.2, so that would still leave me about 25 grams worth of fat. So I would have used up all my calorie intake for the day, but I haven't used up all my fat intake. And to be honest, very rarely do I, I'm just looking through the last couple of days, so like the last week, I never go over my fat intake for the day. So, I mean, once you start to get into really into sort of calorie deficits and protein intakes and um, and all that type of stuff, you really do need to look at your fats and your oh, that shenanigans and stuff. So um, I try not to get too technical with it. I did start to look at a few bits. My arm's aching, so I'm gonna move sides. Um, camera sometimes it focuses sometimes it doesn't um because as i said for the last sort of three maybe three weeks i haven't lost any weight i've lost some centimeters but i haven't lost any weight so you know i have now lost four stone but then i was like four maybe like i'd lost like just over three and a half stone and seemed to really plateau so i kept going with this with the um with the calorie counting and stuff, but I also just changed a few bits, added a bit more protein in because that's what people kind of said to do and how I kind of read about it and stuff. So I, for lot, all of last week, I took out one piece of bread for breakfast and just replaced that with some spinach. Um, really cut down on sort of carbs and upped my protein intake a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's worked or not, but I'm going back to me two bits of toast today, aren't I? So, um, I don't know. I, I kind of give it a go and I just see what works for me. I'm not, you know, I'm no expert, obviously, and I'm just trying to show you what I've done to get where I am. So, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy my cottage pie and salad and um, I'll catch up with you at tea time. Hello. I've only said it like that because Chris mocks me when I say, hello, happy Saturday. So it is, it's the evening, it's seven o'clock and uh, last meal of the day is my Hello Fresh. excuse the hair and a slightly shiny face, I did do my weight session uh, for 40 minutes, planked for a minute, did 80 squats, yay, so here we are, this is the chicken chamula couscousy stuff, so we've got courgettes, shallots, um, the couscous is underneath and then we've got yoghurt because it's quite spicy, um, so yeah, so that's this should be tasty. So in total for the day, I have had, I haven't had any snacks this afternoon, did some gardening, got out with the kids and uh, sort of played outside really. So I have had 1,570 calories today. I have yet another bottle to go. So I think I've probably had five of those today. Um, I'll probably go crazy and have a 10 calorie jelly for pudding. Ooh, living on the wild side. And that's, that's my lot for the day. So yeah, so that's my calorie counting food for the day enjoy evening everyone good evening on the world's longest weekend vlog <laughs> we're not even going to tell you what day the week is we'll leave it as a guessing game comment below let us know what you think yes. so this is our little i think i did mention it yesterday when i did my what i eat in a day that we were just going to give a little update on disney disney the never-ending saga of yeah. disney so just to recap, which we thought might be good, because we might have confused everybody, might have most lately. Um, confused myself some days, what's happening. So we had originally booked to go to Florida at the end of August this year. It was a postponed holiday from last year that we couldn't do, but we went all in on Disney. We were gonna stay at Universal's Endless Summer doing Disney and Universal. And we were gonna do NASA at one point, as in Kennedy, weren't we? Yes. But having looked at everything and the cost of, you know, Disney tickets for 14 days is very expensive. Then when you added in Universal tickets, 
that was, ex you know, not as much as Disney, but no. still, ex you know, it's the, expensive. The, we're talking the, a lot of money. The, the, the parks are another holiday, aren't they? Um, yeah, we just felt that we were trying to cram too much into yeah. those weeks, two weeks, didn't we? Yeah. So we dropped Kennedy. Um, you know, I still have never been to Florida, but I definitely feel like I want to go more than once. So we'll do it on another trip. Yeah. Anyway, we then, um, whilst this was all happening, we, if you have watched previous vlogs, will know that we were due to get married. Um, we'd be married by now, wouldn't we? Would be. Uh, and we were going to get married in Vegas. We'd booked it about two or three weeks before lockdown happened. Um, booked it with Virgin Holidays. Our August holiday, I should mention, was booked with Tui. Um, obviously then, um, as we got closer to it in the back end of 2020, we obviously thought Vegas isn't going to happen. And with everything that had happened with COVID and just family and all the rest of it, we decided we definitely wouldn't be going abroad. So Virgin were quite good. They just said the money that you've paid can be put as a sort of credit note and we won't charge you for moving the booking. Um, so we then and denied, and as I've said before, with regards to a honeymoon, because we're getting married on the 20th of November, um, I have spent the last 11 months on furlough, so I don't want to lie on a beach for a, for a week and you're not a particularly beachy type no. person anyway. So Tanned we thought, enough. yeah, if we're going in August, Let's go again in November. So we changed Virgin mm -hmm. to go to Florida, yes. didn't we? For the week. Uh, this is our favourite bit, isn't it? Staying in Art of Animation, mm -hmm. in a little mermaid room, flying with Virgin, premium economy, um, only doing Disney, because we're going to be on site. Um, so that's great. So we were going to be going after the August holiday, obviously. Then, <laughs> as we got sort of, again, closer to, when did we move it? Was it before Christmas or after Christmas? It was after Christmas, after wasn't Christmas, it? After Christmas, yeah. Both, yeah. both of them were yeah. after Christmas. We sort of talked and all the rest of it, and we, obviously August is very hot in Florida, um, and I can't imagine even if we are allowed in that we would, you know, we're still going to have to wear masks and all the rest of it, and we sort of chatted to my brother who was coming with us, chatted to Erin, and we made the decision that we were going to move it from August because we just felt it wasn't the right timing, wasn't sure what was going to be happening. Yeah. Terrible grammar. And we wanted to make an early decision on it instead of yes. waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. Um, because I think in the back of our minds was that this year was going to be tight for August. Yeah. Um, we were pushing it, weren't and we? And after this week's announcement. Yes. Um, it's still going to be tight. It's still going to be August. tight, but it, it, it could happen. But it's probably not happening in the right way we want and it not, to And not in the magical way that we wanted it to happen. No. You know, f four, of, three of us have never been to Florida. Liam's never been to Disney. Um, you know, you've been twice. Mm -hmm. um, my brother's been once years ago or twice years ago. So it is a really special holiday. And if we're going to do it, we're going to spend that amount of money. We wanted to do it yeah. in the best possible way, didn't we? So... We looked and spent a bit of time researching and the cheapest, best option that we could find was to book for mid-May. Yep. So still with TUI, but we're only doing TUI flights this time because we're now doing timeshare, aren't we? Because mm -hmm. his mum and dad have timeshare, which is very fortunate. So for November, uh, a few, well, one sort of exciting bit this week because we're staying on Disney property. We've booked Magical Express, haven't we? This yeah. week you did that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. With a very um, friendly Disney. Person. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a response from the online form that you have to fill out. So I did that twice and no response. Um, I didn't know it really meant to get anything or not. So I just did a chat on Disney Experience and spoke to someone yeah. on there, and they yeah sorted out in five minutes and took the detail. They didn't actually have the flight on on there, so they've added the flight on there, and yeah. All ready to go on that one, so that's yeah. exciting. So and yeah, that, so and that finishes the end of this year, the Disney Express. So yeah. yeah, so we'll just kind of just slip in, won't we, for that? Hopefully, which is good. So then, um, if you watched was it last week's vlog or the week the vlog before that? I think it was the vlog before anyway. I'd said that I'd seen something that was happening on some of the sort of sites and um, Florida things, and it was the launch of the 2022 tickets, which is very exciting. So we had originally booked five tickets for August 2021, obviously. When we knew we were then going to move the booking to May, um, and we'd already booked November, so we spoke to Florida Tix, who we've booked our tickets through, very helpful. So we kept two tickets back for November, 
got a credit note for the other three. Happy days. Uh, when we then started to look, because obviously Chris and I are going in quite a short, we're going twice within a year. So that's where things like um, Disney's annual pass comes in. Mm -hmm. It's about the same cost as buying two sets of tickets. It's about 800 quid, I think. But when you then get an annual pass, you get um, free parking at the parks, yep. isn't it? Which is $25 a day. Currently $25, I think. That's probably got and we'll have a car because obviously we're um, timeshare. Um, you get about a 20% discount off merchandise. You then get between 10 and 20% off food and drinks. So it is, although it costs the same, you do get a lot of benefits from it. But, um, and you'll know this if you're into Disney and you know the parks and you're going on a holiday, you now have to book park days. You can't just rock up to whichever park you want to rock up to. You've got to book your days because they're managing capacities. Um, and that's done in place at the moment through next year. Yes, through so all of next year. I'm sure year, it'll through... go at some point, but up until next year it is so, yeah, you have to book park passes. Yes, if you have a general admission ticket, say like you bought a seven day ticket or a 14 day ticket, you can just go on and book whatever parks you want for those 14 days. So you could book your Magic Kingdom, your Animal Kingdom, or you can go in and book them. Annual pass holders can only book up to four days at a time. So our concern is that once we bought the 2022 tickets, of course, Owen, Erin and Liam, because they'll have the 14 day passes, would be able to go and book their two weeks worth of parks. If we bought annual passes... Which we can only do in November when we were over there. Yes. Um, we'd only be able to book four days, the first four days of our holiday. And after that, it'd be a waiting game to see what happened. And obviously we don't want it a case of we can't get in and Owen, Erin and Liam can to be a holiday together, not together. Yeah, exactly. Which defeats the object. Yes. So we kind of undenied, weren't really sure what we were going to do. When we'd originally booked Florida Ticks, there was no COVID cover because it wasn't, nobody thought it was going to go on as long as it was. And what the lady had said to me is that if you'd paid the £40 ticket insurance, you could have got a full refund. So my, I came up with an idea of why don't we just buy the five tickets, pay the £40 insurance, and then in November, when Chris and I are in Disney, if we can buy the annual passes and they've lifted, you know, we can buy annual passes, but it's if they've lifted those restrictions mm -hmm. in terms of booking four days, then we'll buy the annual passes while we're out there so that when we're there in November, we can benefit from the discounted merchandise and um, food and drink. And then when we come back, we'll send our two tickets back and all we've lost is £40. We then get a full refund for those other tickets. And then the benefits through into May as well. Into May as well. So that's so, a waiting game on that one. Yeah. Just to see what happens as, as we as we go through. Yeah. So, and we did have a look at Universal as well. So we've got for May, we of August this year, but now for May, we'd pay the deposit for Universal tickets yes. as well, which is just £50. Again, with Florida ticks, but we haven't purchased the tickets yet. But again, looking at that this week, um, looking at how we can enhance that and benefits and stuff like that. We're not doing Universal in November because it's only seven days, so we're just doing Disney mm -hmm. and shopping. Um, um, Outlets, I'm very, I've lot, there's a new blogger I've started watching that is, um, she just goes to the outlets at Vines and, oh God, what's the other one? I can't remember where the other one is, but there's two of them and they're so good. Wednesdays is apparently restock day. So we've slightly changed our schedule. I think, just so we could go on a Wednesday mm. morning. Because the bargains you get are unbelievable, honestly. Yeah, I'll link shopping. up below the, the vlogger that I watch. She's very good. She's got blue hair. We'll, we'll, what we do, we'll link everybody we've watched because this started yes. with, when we first looked at this, with Tim Tracker. Yeah, oh, think, God, um, we've moved on from old Tim. We've my... a lot of people, um, and he's a bit changed now because of the baby and things like that. And, and just because he can't and get into the park. And the parks and, are just yeah. quite boring at the moment in a way because there's not a lot of change in, there's a lot of restrictions mm. and stuff like that. Um, but there's lots more we've joined to this and we've, we've stuck with, some yes, we've dropped we and things like that. So yeah, we'll put a whole list of, of, of everybody. Um, that we watch. Just, um, just, mm. That's just for Stuart and Heather, so Heather can have more things to uh, <laughs> uh, to watch to um, um, and make a day go. Um, so, yes, yeah, so with Universal, so the idea of Universal, again, I looked at what the price of um, annual pass was mm. for Universal, um, and it's not dissimilar to buying a UK ticket for 14 days, mm. which at the moment I think is two, 285 or something like that, and about 380. Just to compare for those that don't know, a Disney ticket, is 
10 quid shy of 500 quid per person. For There's, 14 days. For 14 days. And there is, I think you get a £10 discount for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. yeah. So, Universal's, but yeah, £200 cheaper than that but still 285 um, but yeah the annual pass a preferred annual pass is about 390 which again gives you very similar to Disney gives you um, complimentary parking um, self parking and um, discounts off um, some merchandise and food around city walk and things like that mm. so while we're over there in November we'll have a look we're gonna look at that aren't we and, and maybe see, go to and maybe and... maybe it's just one we'll buy one so it gives us the benefits mm. or if it's the same price and we can get them we might just get them all mm. so everybody's got an annual pass because they do deals on them as well so i think a lot of the vloggers yeah. we've been watching just before lockdown last year got 18 months for the price of 12. Yeah. Um, i know there's a deal on the website at the month for uh, 15 months so 12. so hey we don't know when we're gonna go after that may time but for the same price as buying a UK ticket, we get the benefits, then we might get a further benefit if we do yeah. do, do something after that as well. Um, so we'll have a look at that on Universal Tickets. So yeah. That's so quite that's... quick, concise, that's my waffle. Done. That's... I was going to waffle that's... apparently. I'm not going to go and have an argument now. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but um, I think that's it for this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've got tickets. Um... It's been a bit of a weird one because we are very conscious, as everyone is, there's not a lot of content for us, so that's why we didn't bother to vlog yeah, yeah. on Sunday. Um, and, yeah, you know, we just watched a bit of TV, watched a bit of Britney Spears' documentary, The Vanishing at Cecil Hotel we started watching. We've still got one Hunger Games to go. We'll link below all the vloggers on YouTube that we're currently watching. Yeah, that we're plowing involved. our we've way. Got, we've got that back into an order now. We were a bit here, though. Oh, we were all over the shop, weren't we? But we've got that back now. Yeah. So the Lodge guys is our... Um, Oh, so funny. There's a phrase that they came out with that my brother then literally within 10 hours said exactly the same phrase. And it's not a phrase I've heard before, but it's too rude to say, isn't it? It's not too rude. No? No. What is it? You can say it then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the one that's got known as the potty mouth. <laughs> potty mouth um... But yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, I mean, obviously this next coming weekend, it's the four of us, isn't it? This weekend. Yes. Um, which consists really of shower, shopping. That's not us having a shower, that's me carrying on with the yeah, shower. Yes, Chris doing the shower, not, not having a weekly shower. <laughs> I had to chase some bits today, so hopefully they're on the way. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll show you the tiles. We've got, we're trying to choose the flooring. Um, yeah, I'll do a food shop. <gasps> you haven't shown the bread. I did. Did you? It yesterday morning. Oh, my bad. That's what happens when you work. Yeah, it's part of my food day, yeah. that was. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, that's that's us. So as always, thanks for watching this weird vlog, <laughs> weekend vlog. Um, click subscribe, um, click the bell. Um, yeah, follow us, follow us on Instagram, like our page, comment. We're getting a few comments now, aren't we? Which is very much appreciated. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah, and some of them, it's a work, uh, ex work colleague of both of us. That sort of haven't spoken to for a long time, and then yeah. they commented last week. So it's good, Thanks, that, Mr. James. Yeah, yeah, so it's good that you know people are watching, enjoying it, and stuff like that. It's just yeah. a good way of communicating. That's what this was all about. Just trying to, yeah, we've and still, still got a few months to go until we can get to see family and stuff like that. Family so, and um, friends widely, but um, yeah, and then get back to work for you and get back to work probably for me. Unfortunately. May, middle um, of May, the hotel's open. I think we'll be going. So yeah. I'm hoping for the beginning of May. Who knows. You wait for that first weekend vlog of when I've gone back to work. I look dishevelled. Yeah, 14 months on furlough, but hey-ho. Yay. Yeah, for no game. So, yeah. So, okay. yeah, we will see you next weekend. Take care. Bye. Ta-da.